We're also following tonight the story of two American war veterans who are fighting to prevent casualties at home among the two million vets who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. The VA estimates that 22 of those vets die each day by their own hand. Chip Reed now on a mission to defeat suicide. Six weeks ago, Special Forces veteran Johnny Primo logged on to his Instagram account and says he was horrified to see a suicide note from a veteran who lived just a few miles away. It read in part, very few people know the truth. I want this in everyone's memory. Desperate to help, Primo tracked down his address. Find out that I was 45 minutes too late from him taking his own life. And immediately then, it was like a gut-wrenching feeling knowing that maybe if there was a chance if he had my phone number that he wouldn't have killed himself. Primo called friend and fellow veteran Casey Gray, and that night they launched an Instagram suicide prevention network by posting a message pleading with vets who are having suicidal thoughts to call them any time, day or night. Veterans responded immediately. And within the first three hours, we saved one person. Within the first 24 hours, we saved five people. You mean people who were on the verge of people suicide? People who were on the verge of suicide. Guys get to a point where they feel secluded and they isolate, and they need to know that there's somebody still there for them. Gray served in Iraq, lost friends in combat, and was severely injured in a helicopter crash. So the fact that you've been through so much, do you think that makes it easier for these people to talk to you? Yes, because if they can talk to someone, a survivor of the situation, he made it through, I can get through this as well. There are now about 180 veterans offering a lifeline on the 22 Too Many Instagram network, and Primo says they've already helped more than 400 vets who were contemplating suicide. Well, if you're worried about his safety or somebody else's... When professional help is needed, they contact a network of psychologists, which includes Dr. Carrie Elk. It's a, a team effort, and both are, are needed. Primo and Gray are currently developing a website and a smartphone app, which will give vets more resources when they find themselves in a dark place. You're courageous enough to do what you did in the military? Just pick up a phone and call. That's all you have to do. Veteran suicide risk is approximately 50% higher than the general population. And Scott, I asked Primo and Gray if they're in this for the long haul, and they said they're going to keep at it as long as there is a need. No vet is truly alone. Chip, great report. Thank you so much.